If we were anywhere south of the border, this next guest, I mean, I think I would probably have girls screaming outside of the windows going, oh my gosh, you talk to him. Um, big, big star um, in uh, South America and Mexico. Uh, I'm going to introduce him as only a white man can, as Alejandro Monteverde, which is not the way he would say it, uh, but better than the way George Bush would say it. He'd be like, Alejandro, you know, he's here. Anyway, <laughs> Alejandro, how are you, sir? How are you? Thank you for having me in your show. It's a great honor. And by the way, I I, I met George Bush um, at the, you know, when he gave the State of the Union speech, he picks two immigrants that came to this country, and I was one of them. Wow. Uh, he, he spoke, so I had the opportunity to... <laughs> Start with him, and he did spoke like what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Alejandro is here. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so Alejandro, um, uh, you are one of the great reasons we love immigrants. You are a guy, big, big star um, in, all over South America and Mexico, and uh, as an actor. But you have uh, become, I believe, one of the best filmmakers in the world. Um, I saw your movie Cabrina, uh, Cabrini when it was, uh, I don't even know if it was locked down yet. And halfway through it, I said to one of the producers, I feel like I am in the screening room, uh, with, um, uh, with the, with the group that made the Godfather, you know, sitting well, next that, to that is, it's, that is one of the most amazing compliments because when I work with my cinematographer, that was one of the inspirations. Oh yeah, uh, I'm telling you, you guys nailed that. It is it is one of the most beautiful films I've ever seen, but not for an artsy reason. It just is. It just captures a mood like I've only seen in The Godfather. Uh, so you hit that. the The movie well, thank Cabrini. You, thank you. You're welcome. The movie Cabrini. Tell the story of Saint Cabrini because a lot of people don't know her. Well, you know, I, I, just to the, the shorter summarize, she was a warrior. She came here to America in the late 1800s as an immigrant, a woman with nothing, um, with a dream, with a big mission to build uh, hospitals and, and, and help those in need and built an empire as big as any Rockefeller or Vanderbilt. Yeah. Uh, even though at that time when she arrived, she faced... Um, a lot of racism against the Italians and discrimination. and But that, that's the beautiful of this country. That did not stop her from building one of the greatest nope. hospitals uh, that New York has ever seen. It is. And she actually, at the end of, by the end of her life, I believe it was the la largest hospital network in the world. Um, yes. I mean, it, it, what yes. she accomplished was amazing. And she became an American uh, shortly after she got here, a few years after she got here. But it shows a she woman, an American, yeah, and then she was the first American saint. Yeah, which is also very powerful. Yeah, um, she, the way you have predicted her. Tell me about the lady who plays her. This this movie, Cabrini, by the way, my highest highest recommendation. This is an incredible movie, so inspirational, so well done. This. This will show you how far independent films have come from conservative media. This is, um, you know, put out by Angel Films. You remember how bad Christian movies were? This is, I wouldn't categorize it as a Christian movie. It's just a movie about this wonderful Christian. Um, but it is brilliant. So please go see it. It's out tomorrow. Anyway, um, uh, well, tell thank me. you, thank you. First of all, that's so. Um, so truly an honor to to coming from you. It means a lot. Um, well, you know, uh, the reason we 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 you know the, the, this is a woman that also defy death itself. You know, defy yeah. our, our mortality every single day. She was able to literally steal decades of life. You know, they told her that she had two to three years to live, and she kept fighting and fighting with. Look at the amount of faith. If you if somebody tells you you have two years to live, but you have a dream that will take you twenty years to make, that requires a lot, a lot of faith in yourself yeah. to begin with. So it, it, it's I needed an actress that was able to have the power of her eyes from going from a loving 
eyes that can love a child that is abandoned to the streets to to rapidly change to have these defiant eyes yeah. to defy all these challenges that were put in front of, of, of her. You know, she fought all the way from the most dangerous criminal, a pimp that was prostituting little girls, to facing, you know, very powerful politicians. Right. And the Pope. I mean, the scene, the, Pope. the scene with the Pope where she's like, I'm going to see the Pope and everybody's keeping her away from the Pope. And he's finally like, I'm not yeah. going to mess with this woman. Go send her in. <laughs> yeah. She inspires me all the time. You know, we take no's too easy nowadays. So if somebody says no and then you, you just walk away. She, she was able to convert a no to a yes. She was able to build bridges to even be able to work with people that disagree with her. And that's what I think is a problem right now and it's so relevant with America because right now we're in such a divided country. We should be able to work together even though we're divided. Yeah. And she understood that. Yeah. It's like we don't have to agree, but there's people dying outside. You know, there's right. like let's 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 go and help. And right. she lived a life for others. Um can I go down just a an odd road perhaps with you? There was one point where I leaned over to the producer and I said that's bat. That's Batman looking over Gotham, uh, yeah. right? And she was wearing a cape. Yes, and she was wearing a cape. Yes. yes. So, did you we, do we, these we, things? Because yeah. there, there were several places where I was like, "That's a hero shot. That's a hero shot yeah. that I've seen." Is, did yes. you intentionally do that? Yes, yes, yes. Everything was designed and very intentional in this film. We because of COVID, you know, at least we have to use COVID for advantage. You know, the movie kept being pushed, pushed and pushed. So we used all that time to keep designing and designing, designing every shot, but designing the subtext. There's a lot of subtext in this film. She lived a very heroic life. She was wearing a cape. So <laughs> we wanted to to present her visually as a hero, as those heroes that you see in Marvel movies. But so well she done. was a, a real hero. And is it true that this was, because I think this is what makes the movie so visually appealing is it was meant to be shot in black and white, right? Yes. And what okay. happened? The whole, the whole time the movie was black and white. And when you shoot black and white, it allows you to be very operatic, you know, or some yeah. well citizen Kane, right. you know, yeah. it's like all those movies is a wonderful, you know, like all those films, it allows you, you know, like Orson Welles used to say it is impossible to have bad act, bad acting in black and white. <laughs> black and white allows you to do everything. But most importantly, the reason I wanted to shoot it in black and white was because she was wearing black. Right. And I didn't want her, her habit to get in the way of her story. So I was like, well, then everybody's going to be dressed like her, black and white. So it, 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 for an entire year and a half, I designed the movie as it was of black and white, which is very operatic, very cinematic, very orchestrated, almost like if, almost like if you look in a movie on Broadway. So, and then a week before we started to shoot, uh, Eustace Wolfington, who was the person behind, behind all of this movement, I call it the Cabrini movement, he flew in and I say, well, he come in for two reasons. Either he's firing me, <laughs> or he's telling me that he's not going to be black and white. That was the only two reasons, because every, anything else he could have just told me on the phone. Why is he flying in to see me? And he was the second one. He's like, it's not going to be black and white. And at this point, I already had to sign the movie. When you design the movie for black and white, like like Citizen Kane, you, you, you take a lot of creative licenses. Oh, visually. Yeah. And it was too late to go back. And, it, you know, I didn't know if it was going to work. So when I finished the film... I went into a deep, deep depression for two weeks because I didn't know if I had, if this movie was going to work because I had shot it designed for black and white, but I shot it in color. So uh, it was of the most dark. I went into a dark place for two weeks and, and then I saw the first cut and I was like, oh, it worked. Oh, my so gosh. It, 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 it was a risk. It is the most visually stunning movie that does not detract you know, sometimes people do it for art's sake and blah, blah, blah. This is just visually stunning um, and helps tell the story. I mean, um, Alejandro, you don't need this from me, but I truly believe you are uh, one of the, if not the best director uh, around today. You are going to be legendary 
uh, I believe. Uh, it's just a matter oh, of thank you. Just a matter of thank you, Glenn. time. You are just it's it's brilliant. Truly. So truly, because we, we've been in a fight and I, and I want to, you know, I, 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 I've never heard that and more coming from you. It's, it's shaking my heart. But I want to say something, you know, you know, this very well, you know, movies like these, if we don't we don't have the big billboards, we don't have we're not, you know, we're competing against Dune. So the only way the movie like this can survive is if in opening weekend people go see it. Otherwise, we'll be kicked out of theaters. So I cannot tell you how important it is that people come out on opening weekend because they are our billboards. The billboards is the word of mouth. It's people coming out of the theaters and sh- sharing their experience, their cinematic experience with, with, with audiences. You know, our audience is the walking billboards. Well, I will tell you that I, I saw it in a, uh, a studio uh, projection room. And I went home, and I've been telling my family about this movie ever since, and we are all going to be at the theater uh, tomorrow. I can't wait to see it again. It is so good. Thank you so much. Thank and it, it, yeah, you saw, you saw an early cut, so I, I can't wait for you. There is two or three new scenes. Mm. Uh, I wonder if you'll be able to, to spot them. I think you will, by yeah. the way. Alejandro, thank you so much. And keep up the good work. Yeah. Um, you're, you are fantastic, really. And Cabrini is a... Is, is a piece of, uh, really, a piece of art. It really is. And I'm so grateful, so grateful for your support. But thank you so yeah, much. Thank you. Alejandro uh, Montever- Monteverde, uh, filmmaker, and I, I really mean this. I, I think he is, he's going to be remembered with all of the greats. I, I have been a fan of his when he started making smaller movies. Um and he made Little Boy, which I thought was just fantastic. Captured the spirit of America in World War II like very few people can do. Uh, and then he also is responsible for um, the, um, uh, the Sound of Freedom. And now Cabrini. And this is amazing and a great uplifting story. You will just love it. Find it at a theater. Like he said, this weekend is really important because they, the reason why Sound of Freedom did well is because more movie theaters open up. On the opening weekend, if they have a big opening weekend, then more theaters go, you know what, I'll give that a try. And if you don't support these things on the opening weekend, and you will just, just go to support um, filmmakers. We, we have come from really bad movies to brilliant brilliant pieces of work and this is the best i've seen from a conservative and it's one of the best i've seen from anyone it's called cabrini see it this weekend